Hey everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I am back today with the Darling Beadbox subscription for January 2022. This is a monthly beading subscription that ships from Sweden, so international viewers in particular, that's great news for you. It means there's another option out there if you've been wanting to try out a beading subscription. So I will leave the link to this one right down below the video. It'll take you right to it. You can find out all the details about the different options for signing up and subscribing. The cost on their site is quoted in euros, but if you do an internet search to convert that amount from euros to whatever your currency is, you should be able to pull that up pretty easily. And their checkout process does the conversion for you. I also have a coupon code. It's Gina2. I'll leave that down below as well. That'll save you two euros off of your first monthly subscription package. Every month they have a theme and inside you can find glass beads, gemstone beads, metallic components, and the like. And every month's theme and color scheme changes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this one up. And our theme for the month is called Crystal Desert. On the back of this insert, there's all kinds of information about the particular stones that you'll receive. It looks like we're gonna get some natural picture jasper along with some other glass and crystal beads. And the findings are gonna be in a red copper tone. So we have 21 different items to go through and everything's in this bundle. Here's a sneak peek of what we are about to see. I'm seeing some earthy tones and also some red to go along with that. I'll go ahead and start sorting out the contents and then we can look at everything up close one at a time. All right, we'll begin with all of the beads and then wrap up with the findings. And it looks like in bag number one, we have a 20 centimeter strand of eight millimeter natural picture jasper. So beautiful natural stone with a lot of neutral colors, kind of warm tones for the most part, like the camel and caramel colors, the shades of light brown, a little bit of black, and some sandy beige. In bag number two, we have a 30 centimeter strand of four millimeter round clear glass beads. Go with anything, won't they? So I can see them going with some clear glass this month to go along with their crystal desert theme to balance out some of the other neutral shades and bring us some glass beads that look similar to perhaps a quartz. It's a long strand of four millimeter rounds that provides us with a very versatile shape and size and also item to put with our other colors. Bag number three is holding a pendant. This is natural picture jasper and it is a 36 by 25 millimeter teardrop shape. This is beautiful, goes along so well with that first strand of beads, those warm neutrals. It almost looks like a wood grain right there. And all of these of course are gonna be a little different because they're a natural material. And even the back can differ so much from the front of the stone. It's got the hole that's up there and just a beautiful smooth feel. In bag number four, we have a 20 centimeter strand of six millimeter natural round rock crystal beads. So these are not glass. They feel similar to a quartz, still very neutral and kind of clear, but not totally opaque not totally transparent either like the other clear strand. And I like that we're getting already a wide range of different sizes. Bag number five contains a 12 centimeter strand of 13 by six millimeter imitation jade faceted teardrops. These are an antique white AB. The shimmery coating on these is just fabulous. I love that we have the very light creamy color with the light gold or champagne that's a bit darker and adds a little bit more warmth and a little bit more interest to these neutral beads. The hole is at the top, as you can see. They have some faceting on them and have a slightly rounder and wider base. 
In bag six, we have a 36 centimeter strand of four by 4.5 millimeter rainbow plated faceted bicones in the color Peru. Really interesting color name. These have sort of a peachy orange appearance and a definite luster coating over the top, adding even more light metallic shimmer to these already glossy bicones, which appear to be in very good shape. In bag seven, we're bringing in some more reddish tones with a 40 centimeter strand of three by three millimeter half plated faceted bicones in the color deep red. Another simply stunning strand of bicones. These are gorgeous. They're smaller than the ones we just took a look at. And so much interest with these being that they have that extra coating on them that adds some additional metallic colors that are really popping off that reddish base, including some blues, purples, pinks, and some golds. And then in bag number eight, we have a 35 centimeter strand of four and a half millimeter faceted glass rounds in dark goldenrod. And there's a look at that sort of deep topaz, very sparkly faceted strand of round crystal beads that lets some of the light through and pick up some of the darker neutral tones that we see, especially in the picture Jasper. Bringing in some more red in bag number nine, this one contains 10 pieces of 11 millimeter glass flower beads in the color red. These are extremely juicy and glossy. Look at these puffy flower beads. The hole is right there in the center. Lots of fun and let the light glow through these beautiful bright red beads, as you can see against my hand. Bag number 10 contains two pieces of 22 by 15 millimeter faceted glass leaf pendants in clear AB. Aren't these beautiful? That AB coating is adding a lot of fun play of light, depending on how you're looking at the crystals, some blue and purple and a lot of gold as well on these pendants with a base of clear crystal. The holes there at the top, as you can see, and they have those beautiful fluted edges and there is a view at the side so you can tell how thick they are. Next up in bag number 11, we have five pieces of 10 and a half by seven millimeter faceted European glass beads in light gold and red. These are really stunning. They're something different that I haven't seen pop up in subscription boxes that I've gotten that I can recall that are quite like this. They have these red crystal rectangles all around the outside of these round beads. You can see the large hole that is capped in a metallic, which is what you usually see with the European style beads. So they're good to add to something thicker. You could do a cord or rope or fabric, add them to chain and really take advantage of that larger hole. Up next in number 12, we have 12 and a half grams of four and a half by three millimeter opaque glass fringe beads in goldenrod. Oh, I love these. So this is only part of the bag in my hand, but what they remind me of is the Miyuki drop beads. You can see how they are sort of in like a teardrop shape. The hole is not really drilled toward the center. So it makes these really fun to use as it says for fringe, also for use in Kumi Himo because of the way they would stick out. That would be fun too. And it's quite a generous quantity of these metallic satiny looking beads. Up next in 13, we have a 20 centimeter strand, six millimeter natural frosted picture Jasper. And here it is. So slightly smaller than our other strand of picture Jasper and also has the matte or frosty coating instead of being polished and glossy. So adds another bit of texture to our contents this month and we see that we get the great variety that we expect with gemstone beads all of them being just a little bit different with their tones of neutrals and black all coming together in a unique way 
Our last bag of beads before we get into the findings is number 14, containing 36 pieces of 6x4 millimeter Czech crystal star beads with golden wash. These are a fun little oblong bead with that golden wash that settles into that crisscross or star-like detail that shows up on each side of the bead. The hole runs right through the center of the length of the bead, and they are pretty much clear in the background, but that gold washes over them beautifully and gives them a metallic dusted look. So that's a look at our beautiful beads, and now we get to take a look at the findings that are included all in tones of the copper for this month. So in bag number 15, this one is holding one meter of four by one millimeter red copper Rolo chain. So here's a closer look at this. I love how we get a whole meter of it. We can use that in multiple projects because it is quite a bit. They have the open links, so you can even use these as jump rings if you want to or connect them directly to other findings. And they offer a nice wide open hole. You could even use this as extender chain if you decide to break these up in little segments. Next in 16, we have 18 pieces of 14 by one millimeter brass linking rings. Very generous quantity of these rings that go along with the metal for the month. These are a great component, whether you want to use them in stringing or weaving. You can actually brick stitch around components like this and make some beautiful seed bead earrings or just use these as a simple connection in between a single strand of beads. Lots of different options for something like this. In 17, I don't have to take these out, but this is 20 pieces of four and a half by 0.7 millimeter copper eye pins. And this is normal every month with Darling Beads, you get a selection of coordinating findings just like this and a lot of practical items, meaning that you can put a lot of things together just from the contents of one box. Bag 18 is holding 30 pieces of eight millimeter red copper star-shaped bead caps. Those will look gorgeous on some of that picture Jasper framing out those beads nicely. You have that sort of star shape with the dotting detail and some raised areas of brighter copper on top of the deeper shade. Bag 19 is holding 30 pieces of six by two millimeter copper spacer beads. And these actually have a nice wide hole on them as well. So another option for using with some type of a thicker stringing material, not just a very thin beading wire. And you can see they are pretty thin and they have that dotted detail around the edges that goes along with our other findings. And then in bag 20, this one's holding 22 pieces of seven by three and a half millimeter red copper flower spacers. These are adorable. They've got the hole that goes through the side of the flower, which means you get to see the full face or back of the flower. They're the same on the front and the back when they are strung. And the size is pretty small and I think easy to work with. And that'll add some additional metallic detail when used in between your glass or gemstone beads. Last up is bag 21. This one contains 20 pieces of five by six by two millimeter copper brass wire guards. So I won't take these out because you know what those look like just from taking a peek at them from inside the bag. Just another practical item to go along with our findings to help you out if you don't have a full lineup of findings in this antique copper color. So that is everything for January 2022's Darling Beads monthly subscription box in the Crystal Desert theme. I think they did a great job once again. This is different from any of the themes I've gotten previously. And I just love seeing what they put together each month. 
This is another small woman-owned business, so I always like to mention that because it's great to be able to support businesses like this, and I think they've done a really consistent job over time with their contents and themes. You get a great mix of both gemstone and glass and other metallic components and also pendants that coordinate with each other, and I highly recommend the subscription if you're looking for another international option in particular. I know that we're very fortunate in the United States to have a lot Lot of different options, but not every company ships internationally. And sometimes the cost of shipping for some companies can just be so outrageous. It just doesn't make sense to ship outside of the U.S. depending on your location. So I hope you enjoyed checking out Darling Beads for this month. I really appreciate you being here for this unboxing. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Darling Beads or this theme or anything else you'd like to say. Definitely give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it was helpful for you to see the contents up close. Be sure to subscribe while you're here so you'll be notified of when I'm posting new content and when I come back with more finished jewelry and tutorials from the contents of boxes like this. As a reminder, you can check right down below the video for the link to the subscription and don't forget to use the coupon code GINA2 to save two euros off your first package if you want to try them out. But that's all I have for now. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beating. Happy beating.